Hello, N4HNH here. Um, some of you who may have watched my video from a while back, uh, kind of a poor man's way to uh, check your radio against WWV, I did it with the FTDX 5000, which conveniently has a, uh, a menu selection to fine adjust your reference oscillator. Well, the FT891 has a, a similar feature. You see the blue light that's on right there? Okay, let me show you how you turn that on, because you need it. Okay, so I'm going to go in, hold long press, go to the menu, and there is a there we go. Uh, let, me, let me zoom in a little bit. So Z I N L E D, enable that. Uh, that is your zero in LED. Okay, so if, if you haven't played with the CW on the rig, that may not make sense to you, but uh, I'll show you just a second here. Um, so turn, make sure you enable the ZIN LED. Okay, and now we're going to go up in the menu here. There's a, se uh, a setting here called reference frequency adjust. Reference frequency adjust. All right, so now we'll come out of the menu. And what I did was I've dialed in uh, 15 megahertz, so roughly center of the, uh, the HF band here. And uh, WWV transmits there. So what you do is you dial that in and you go into CW mode. You know, you do that by holding the band key and selecting the mode, right? Select CW. And then also, I'm going to hit the function button to page through to the CW menu. And if you don't have that turned on, there's a place in the, in the menu to turn CW setting on, okay? Again, in the menu. All right, so you see this ZIN here? Instead of using a spot button on this rig, you just tell it here what pitch you want. And I've got it dialed all the way down as low as I can go, 300 hertz right now. And then you press, move the arrow over to the ZIN, which is zero in, press it, and it will micro adjust the receiver frequency to give you the tone you selected, the pitch, in this case 300. And then uh, just hold long press and get out and look at what your frequency is. A lot of times what you'll see is you'll see that it might be 0 0.01, 0 0.015, uh, or maybe even not 15, it might be 14.00995, things like that. So it's just micro adjusting your receiver to give you the 300 hertz, in this case, tone. I know, and I normally listen at 550, but uh, just wanted you to understand that's how that works. Now you see the blue lights on? Watch this, if I, if I go down one, 14.999.995, I lose the blue light, and that's the zero in light. What that's doing is letting you know that you, you have dialed in the correct receive frequency in order to hear at the pitch you want to hear at, which right now is 300. I went down to 300 because I wanted um, the best resolution I could get for this adjustment. Now watch if I go up also lose the light so I'm dead on it now let's talk about what how I did how I corrected that I'm gonna go back into the menu by long pressing the F see the reference frequency here out of the box it's gonna be at zero now watch what happens when I go out of the menu and I go into the zero in now it gave me the blue light it zeroed in but look at what frequency I'm on 15.000.01. So my receiver needs a little bit of a, of a fine adjustment. Now, by the way, you don't want to do this unless the radio has been warmed up for at least a half an hour, and I prefer to even let it go an hour. So uh, what I did was I just went in there. Whoops, wrong menu. Long press. I went into the frequency adjust, and I found out at what frequency... See, what, what's this? I'll get close. I'll show you how I did this. I'll get close. I guessed at it here. 
with 20. Now I did the zero in, the blue light came on, so I know the receiver is now giving me 300 hertz, but let's see what frequency I'm on. Ah, I'm there. But, and that is probably plenty close, but what's this? If I go up one, oh, I am there, I'm there. So I go up five, I lose, I lose the light, I go down on zero, 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 I've got light. Go down, and, and okay, I'm on it, I'm on it, that's what you want. Let me move it a little bit. Um, obviously very, very close there. Let me move it down some. Now see, the light is still on at zero, zero, 005 and at zero, 00, well, but I lose the light at 995. So I'm close, but I'm not smack on it, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna go back into the menu. And what I found was is that 20, 21 worked too. Let me let me go back to 21 and just see. Uh, I'll do the zero in. Okay, I lose it at 995. Got it at zero. Lose it at five. Got it at zero. Lose it at five. Going down five by nine nine no go nine nine five zero got it and zero zero five so I'm that's twenty twenty one you know either one of those has it nailed so uh, anyway kind of a poor man's way to do that without a frequency counter um, now if the three hundred hertz tone generator in the radio is a little off we could be slightly off but this is plenty close for uh, HF. Um, amateur radio okay hope you found that informative and um, if you did hey uh, subscribe to the channel like like this and uh, tell your friends uh, thanks a lot 73 from n4 H&H &H.